My friends, you are about to hear an overview. Well, you don't hear an overview. A view is visual. You don't hear it, you see it. Let me to begin again. You are about to hear an oversound on the thought of Dutch Golden Age painting. Dutch Golden Age painting owes its being to the Dutch Republic. Only because of the Dutch Republic was there a Golden Age. What did the Golden Age span? It spanned the 17th hundred years of our Loart. While and after the later time of the 80 years war for Dutch freedom. When did we fight to get our freedom? Between the years of our Loart, 1568 and 1648. Always have the Bible-based free states been the happiest and the most prosperous. Always have our Bible-based cultures been foremost in knowledge, trade, and in art. So was the Dutch Republic. Erst were the towns of Flanders more artistic. But the war displaced many artists into the Netherlands, the Lowlands, and many into Alsace. But those artists those artists, those who went to Alsace, stayed Baroque. But those artists who went to Holland began a new kind of art. The breaking from absolutism, that is to say from monarchy and from papism, was a sharp one. The Dutch painters had new feelings to work out and they did well at it. Dutch painting of the Golden Age comes in the general European time of Baroque painting. Many traits does the Dutch painting of the time share with the Baroque paintings. That which it does not show is bestness and splendor. The latter have been found more in the Baroque kind. Absolutism is from Fendas. Decorative arts belong more to Fendas and to Lida's instincts than to our own. Two kinds of people. At first they were, in many ways, of opposite natures. Ultimately, the more they mixed, the more unforeseeable became their bents. In the raw, our people shunned cities, and the other people, the stranger, kept in them. Ours elected headmen, while the other was dominated by force by monarchs, police, and emperors. Ours former formed modestly sized societies while the other formed empires. Ours built modest sized buildings while the other built towers and skyscrapers. Stick with me. This lore about the two kinds of folks helps to explain the two kinds of art, Baroque and Dutch Golden Age. Our folk relied on God and on work, the other upon sorcery, skullduggery, covert action, and exploitation of the work of others. Ours felt close to God, the other imposed itself as a go-between, separating the masses from God in order to dominate them. 
the second type of people engaged in decorative arts while our type did not. The women, our type of people, admired and desired the decorative objects made by the second type. Our folk was honest and straightforward, while the other relied upon psychology, scams, and schemes with wheeling and dealing. In the area of enjoyment and beauty, our folks require less stimulation to generate a higher emotional response, whereas the stranger must have the bright colors, the loud or elaborately prepared music, the fancy as different from the simple or the plain. For instance, melisma comes from the stranger. Upon exposure, our folks may have become attached to it, witness Handel. But at first we did not feel a lack if our melodies were plain. In time, the two types interbred. Afterward, you might find in the same family one sib who shuns cities while the other adores them. One sib is into decorative art while the other is into practical art. Our kind of people tend to have higher overtones in our voices than have the others. Yes, our men may be baritones, but the overtones cluster more highly. Wherever there has been found a choice between working in factories as against f small free farm holds, our folks have chosen the farmstead over the factory. In any particular whereabouts, whichever type may be dominant, the other type, growing up among them, picks up their ways, but modifies them to fit their own nature a little better. A little better. Good examples of this can be seen in the different, the many different types of music that passes under the title rock and roll. They are so different from one another because the people making them are of much different natures from each other. Same way. Contrasts and similarities between Dutch Golden Age painting and Baroque painting show both, number one, the differences in the nature of our own people and also, number two, the influences of the aliens, either by interbreeding or by upbringing. The Dutch Golden Age culture leans more toward our own nature, while the Baroque culture the Baroque culture <sighs> arose out of the presence in our lands of an alien force. However, just the act alone of making decorative items shows the alien's influence either genetically or by upbringing and cultural standard setting. Here are some differences between the Dutch Golden Age movement and the Baroque cultural movement. Difference number one. The Baroque movement is associated with the anti-freedom of the quote priests from the East, end quote. All right, kids, if you want to find out what the other three differences are between Dutch Golden Age painting and Baroque painting, or Dutch Golden Age culture and the Baroque culture, you're going to have to watch part two. DJR, DJR. So, also, the further descriptions of, of the Dutch Golden Age painting and further details on the topic are in, in the subsequent parts of this 
uh, series. So go ahead and find them. Hope you have a good interim. Bye-bye.